Fungal infection in the ear is a very common problem due to which many patients come to me in my OPD. Today in this video, we will talk about this problem which is called otomycosis in the medical language. Hello friends, I am Dr. Sharad and I am an ENT and a rhinoplasty surgeon and welcome to my channel. The human ear is divided into three parts, outer ear, middle ear and inner ear. Fungal infection or otomycosis is an infection of the outer ear in which the fungus can infect any part of the ear canal. Fungal infection of ear can be of two types. The first is the superficial type which is the most common type of fungal infection in which the fungus infects the skin of the ear canal. And the second one is the invasive type which is a rare type of infection in which the fungus infects the skin as well as the bone of the ear which is also called the temporal bone. So now we will discuss in what conditions otomycosis or fungal infection of the ear is common. So the first is otomycosis is very common in people who live in either hot or humid places. During the rainy season, there is more moisture as well as fungal spores in the ear. Hence, due to more moisture in the surrounding ear, the ear canal also has more moisture to it which can lead to fungus infection in the ear. Third is, if the water gets into the ear while bathing or swimming, it can also cause otomycosis. If a patient has a discharging ear, which could be due to a eardrum perforation, the ear remains wet due to the presence of the pus or discharge and due to staying wet, the risk of fungal infection in such ear increases. If the patient uses earbuds, Math sticks or any objects to itch in the ear, then the patient can still have fungal infection of the ear. People who have diabetes are also more prone to fungal infection. Such patients who have either dandruff in, in their hair, which is medically termed as seborrheic dermatitis, or such patients who have a skin disease named psoriasis are also prone to fungal infection of the ear. It has been seen that if a patient is using antispyretic steroid drops for the ear for a long time without medical advice, then also the risk of fungal infection of that ear is more than the normal. Fungal infections of the ear are mostly caused by two types of fungus, which are named Aspergillus niger and Candida albicans. Now we will discuss what are the symptoms of ear fungus. So, the main symptoms of ear fungus or otomycosis are intense itching in the ear, ear pain, ear discharge or pus, a feeling of heaviness in the ear and hearing loss. So, how is otomycosis diagnosed? Any ENT surgeon can confirm that you have fungus or otomycosis in the ear very easily by doing an otoscopy or otoendoscopy of your ear. So diagnosis of otomycosis usually doesn't require any major investigations. So now coming to how do we treat this otomycosis? So the first step in the treatment of otomycosis is to get this ear fungus cleaned thoroughly by an ENT surgeon. After cleaning, the patient is given antifungal ear drops which are to be put in the ear for two to three times a day for five to seven days. Oral medications are also given to the patient according to the need of the patient for his ear pain or itching in the ear canal. So now we will discuss that what are the important points that a patient should keep in mind during his treatment. So the first is patient should take care that he should not swim or get wet in the rain. The patient has to keep his ear completely dry and take care that water does not get in the ear while bathing. For this, the patient can take a cotton plug and apply oil or cream like Vaseline, coconut oil, Boroline, Boroplus, etc. so as to lubricate the cotton. This is necessary because the water seeps inside a dry cotton, but the water does not enter the ear if the cotton is lubricated with Vaseline or oil. The patient should not scratch his ear with any external object such as earbud, matchstick or even with his own finger. Do the full course of medicines given by the ENT surgeon and make sure that you go for a follow-up visit to the doctor after the course is over. It is very important to see a doctor because 
the fungus infection is sometimes very stubborn and may require repeated cleaning of the ear canal to remove the fungal debris for a longer time because even the smallest spore of the fungus has the complete ability to reproduce into a full-fledged fungus ball. Now we will discuss what are the measures one can follow to avoid otomycosis. So the first is keep in mind that while swimming use earplugs so that water does not enter your ear. Diabetes patient should keep a proper control on their blood sugar. Do not put any type of ear drops in the ear without medical advice. And do not scratch the ear with earbud, matchstick or even with your finger. So friends, in this video I have tried to tell you all the information related to fungal infection of the ear in detail. If still I have missed on something or you have any question in your mind then ask me in the comment section below. I will try my best to answer all. Thank you.